Hi, I'm Talitha Gray Koslowski, and this is a quick tutorial on how to bill your time within the Law Clerk Marketplace for subscription. So first of all, it's incredibly important that you keep contemporaneous time records. Um, this is important for a number of reasons. The hiring attorney may need to bill their client at any point in time. Um, and so it's critical that you have your time in into the system so that they can pull it anytime they need to access it. It's also important in that it gives them a good understanding of what you're working on and when you're working on it and how many hours you have left in the subscription. Um, that visibility is really important to maintaining the relationship. Um, I can't underscore enough how important contemporaneous timekeeping is. The reason uh, subscriptions fail more often than not is because the attorneys um, get frustrated with the lack of, lack of visibility into the timekeeping, the inability to pull time um, on a needed basis. So please, please, please contemporaneously bill your time. All right, so how do you do it? Um, you access your dashboard. So within the uh, Law Clerk Marketplace, you go into your subscription. Um, and for every subscription, you'll have a general matter. If you're billing time in just the general matter, um, you will go over here to time entries. You will click on time entries and you will insert um, a description. You want the description to be sufficiently thorough so that the attorney understands what you're working on so that they're able to bill it to their client um, and their client fully understands what you've been working on. It's also um, important that if you are in the general matter, um, be careful to make sure you're including the name of the client or the name of the case, something like that, so that the attorney is um, clear as to which matter your time entry relates to. So in this one, typing in Talitha Gray as if that is the client name, and here we'll put prepare motion in limine regarding um, accountants, late expert report. So you type in your description, put in the day that you provided the services. So here are the 11th um, and the amount of time it took you to do that. So, you know, 1.4 hours. And here you click save. Um, and then you can continue adding entries below it. So again, um, really easy to keep your time within uh, the general matter and important that you do it contemporaneously. If you and the attorney, your um, hiring attorney have created matters for different clients, um, you want to make sure that you're billing your time within the individual matters. Um, and if the hiring attorney hasn't created matters for specific clients, you may want to encourage them to do so. So in this instance, um, we will go here to the Burt and Ernie versus Big Bird uh, case. And we will bill our time here because we've been working um, specifically on that matter. So again, putting in the date, 2.1 hours, and finish RFPs, and oops, typo there, and ROGS to Mr. Snuffleupagus. All right, and you click your time in there. Again, if you're working in a matter, if you have specific matters, make sure you're putting your time within the um, applicable matter. Um, if you don't have a different matter set up, put your time in the general matter um, and identify the client name. It's that easy.